Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're here at McDonald's. It's a Sunday morning. It's been a yeah. It's been a couple of weeks since the folks have uh, heard from you. What have yes. you been up to? Oh, I don't know. We just had such a good time at McDonald's on the carry. We don't go to Sherbrooke anymore because there's only one guy and it's terrible in a place like McDonald's in Westmount should have only one guy serving. They have a big lineup. We're at McDonald's at uh, the carry. They got about five to six people. You come in, they serve you right away. It's a pleasure. We sit in a beautiful booth here. I'll show the people the booth. Yes, show the people the booth. How nice every Sunday morning here. And how nice it is. And uh, yeah, you're showing the booth. Not only that now, McDonald's is giving away free small coffees. And their coffee today is, as far as both of us are concerned, it's one of the best in the city. And uh, we are making our little bets, which we do every Sunday, which I enjoy. And uh, as far as hockey is concerned, my personal opinion is that we will not have hockey this year. The owners gave them too much money, as I was saying all along, athletes are making too much money. And now the owners want to grab back the money. So why, if they gave it to them, why should the hockey players give it back to them? So it's a beef, and they're not even close. They're far apart as far as money is concerned. And the winter games, which they were going to draw in the state of Michigan. The Winter Classic. Uh, winter Classic is canceled, which uh, would be 100,000 people. They made uh, Gary Bettman, who's the commissioner uh, in the NHL, uh, got uh, more, uh, I think, NBC and more other channels to join the hockey, and they won't come back anymore. And uh, other than that, uh, the weather is not so hot now. And what happened, we didn't even discuss what happened in the state of New York and the state of New Jersey. And it's just absolutely terrible what one hurricane can do, especially to a city like New York and the state of New Jersey. And I understand there's no boardwalk and, it was, and it's a week without power, subways in some stations just got back. It's devastating. And as far as the presidential election is concerned, I'm picking Barack by a nose, like a horse race. That's how close it is. Anything, sir, you would like to add to this conversation, which I did all the talking? Well, you're right. Uh, apparently, well, apparently, whatever happened in, uh, as far as Hurricane Sandy, it's a real shame, especially those poor people on Staten Island that had to beg for people to come over because nobody was paying attention to them. And they're pulling dead bodies three days after out of the water. And they had no food, no heat, no electricity. People lost their homes. Then you get that, that other place where the fire took out a whole community. Bayside Heights or something, it's a real shame. No food as well then. Right. They're begging for food. Imagine the state of New York that they haven't got food, houses demolished. Right. They can't go back to their houses. Yeah, imagine you're working and you have a house and you live check to check and to pay your bills and your house and your mortgage and your electricity and then the next day you wake up and you don't have any of that. And you have to sleep, sleep in shelters. Right. And the shelters 
have no room anymore. Right. Hotels are jammed. Pittsburgh Steelers are flying in today because their hotel is all taken up. And they're flying right out after the uh, football game. They're playing the New York Giants. Wow, today. really? Yes, yes. I thought you would hear about it. They're flying in. Their game starts at 4 o'clock only. So they're flying in, I suppose, in the morning, check in to the stadium, and after the game, check right out and fly back to Pittsburgh. Wow. Yes. Anything else, sir, you would like to add? No, it's been a nice uh, little break, a little hiatus, and we're back in action, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Have a nice week now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.